all my lifters out there, just wear your belt to the airport, because it's a belt. And that's what it's for. And you can just be snug like a hug when you're in the airplane, and it's spectacular. Bro told me to smile. Oh, it's 
strong man. 160, I meant. 160. Strong man. 160 kilos, 252. Scott, fight. The bar, the bar is way thicker than a regular deadlift bar. So they got, you know, more intense grip strength. The grippers. What do you mean by that? Arnold. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I seem to have caught an illness, which is unfortunate, but is what it is. Time to do a rundown, my closing thoughts on the Arnold slash Ohio experience. Day one, um was like chill. The parts that I liked, I liked meeting a lot of new people. I was very honored to like face to face meet some of the people that are rocking with me and for them to tell me, you know, like, I really like your content. It's funny or it's helpful or, you know, the mobility really helped me improve like my hips or my knees don't hurt or something like that. That was really awesome to hear. I'm not even kidding. That was like amazing. What I didn't like, there was zero phone signal in the entire convention center, so I was kind of like... Felt like I didn't know what was going on at any given point in time. I was like, wow, it would be so amazing to be able to use my phone right now and ask somebody what to do instead of trying to rummage through the crowd and find somebody who will give me an answer. I don't really think that's a fault of anyone though. It was just like an unpleasant situation. Eh, whatever. Day two. I think technically that was the Arnold Saturday. <laughs> It was chill, it was just like way busier. Again, the things that I liked were meeting people, I got to see some of the same people, I saw a ton of new people. I really, really enjoyed that. Day two, I was really trying to get my little mitts on some free samples. And I just couldn't. I was like, what the heck? In my mind, like that's what a convention, or like a fitness convention is for. It's for these companies, like these clothing, no, supplement, ah. gear, whatever companies to kind of promote their product and push it out there and be like, hey, come try our stuff. It's awesome. I didn't, I didn't get that at the Arnold. It was just a lot of companies being like, you want us, come buy it. And I was like, I don't. I really don't want you and I don't want to buy it. I want to try it before I buy it. But that really wasn't an option. So I was like, what the hell? That was whatever. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining and being like, oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. But I feel like that's what a convention is for. It's for the free samples. I have been told by previous attendees that in years prior, you'd walk away with like big trash bags full of just like samples from these companies. I walked away with like, I, I didn't walk away with anything because I ate them at the convention. So <laughs> I walked away with nothing, nothing. Not a big deal. It's not like I need it. It's just like, mm, it's Halloween for fitness people. Mm. Moving on. Another thing I kind of didn't like about day two was because it was like the day, it was so crowded. I don't know how they could have prevented this other than limiting ticket sales, I guess, but there were portions of the back of the center that were so crowded. It was like freaking jigsaw lock. You couldn't move. 
I don't like feeling trapped like that. So that was really unenjoyable. Mm -hmm. Day three, final day. I feel like I knew it was gonna be more chill day three. So I just kind of wanted to look at anything I hadn't looked at. I didn't want to miss anything. I felt like people were just starting to leave. So even like companies had already kind of packed up day three. And I was like, what the heck? We're still here. Like, come back. I did really enjoy the mix of like new or not new, but like new to me sporting events. Like I didn't know that the night fighting was going to be there. I didn't know that they were going to have competitive tag. I didn't know that there was going to be the, like Scottish games. And I really liked those things. I feel like I got a little taste for different sports. Didn't get a taste for any products though. So is what it is. And yeah, I don't know. Would I go again? <laughs> who knows? But this experience was definitely an experience. And thank you to everybody who experienced it with me. Last thing I got to say. Limited edition merch. For this particular one, I think it's only going to be a limited edition one-time drop. It's going to be live until March 24th, 2023. After that time frame, then all of the shirts will send out. Estimated arrival is April 13th through the 15th. So, yeah, I think they're pretty cool. <laughs> More details in my link tree. I'll just put the link in the description. If you would like to get one, that would be cool. No pressure though. Anyway, I, I really don't have anything else to say. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you. If you made it this far and you have not yet liked the video and subscribed, please do so. Also, feel free to leave a silly comment. Let me know if you have been to the Arnold, if you would like to be to the Arnold, if you went and had a certain opinion, please share it with me. Anyway, thank you for coming on this journey with me. And until next time, adios.